Corporal Craig Mel, Grand County Sheriff's Office. The reason I stopped you, your license plate lights aren't illuminated back there. Do you have your license insurance on you real quick? No, I don't. You don't have your license or insurance no, at all? I don't have a license. My wife's car. This is your wife's car? Yeah. Okay. You don't carry your license on you, though? No, I ain't. There it is. I have an ID. I don't have a driver's license. So you don't have a valid license at all? Do you have a license on you? Do you have any ID on you at all? What is this? You just got out of prison? Okay. What'd you go to prison for? Second degree burglary? Okay. I, I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time hearing you. I did all my time for I ain't got no probation. No parole. So you're not on probation, parole or anything? Gotcha. Any warrants for you guys' arrest or anything like that at all? Anything illegal in the vehicle? I need no matter any guns, knives, drugs, anything like that at all? I got a pocket knife. Okay. Hold tight, guys. I'll be right back with you, okay? So he hands me his ID card from prison because he doesn't have one. And a driver, yeah, yes. Yeah, and the driver's a non-driver ID. And then I got that from the kennel. It's a, uh, my brother needed it. He's got to take a pee test. He told me to grab it for him, so I did. I don't do no medication, so you can test me right now for that stuff. But. It's Turn around face that way. That's been in one of the um, Okay. Right. Just relax. Right. So, come here. Yeah. Out of traffic. What's this for? Uh, I was going to... Throw your cigarette down. What's it for? My brother needed it. Take a pee, so he could. He didn't want to fail a drug test. What? He, he wanted me to hold it for him. So he wanted you to pee in the bottle. Yeah. So I hold it. Because you're clean. Yeah. He's dirty. So I hold it for him. Yeah. So you hold urine for him. Well, this is a pill bottle. This isn't even something you use for urine sample. Whose pill bottle was it? I have no clue. No idea. No, I really don't, sir. Uh, not even one. I've never heard that before. Yeah. I mean, I've heard of. I've heard of people, you know, yeah, peeing for somebody else because they're hot and they don't want to come yeah, up dirty, but do it in that. not in a pill bottle, no? Yeah, I'm really lucky, man. That's crazy. You were driving the vehicle. Any objection to me searching the vehicle? Nope. Okay. Huh? Did you run the thing yet? No. Okay. Sir? There is a black bag under the front passenger seat that's uh, a wife's personal things, sex toys and stuff, so. Okay, so. I ain't got nothing wrong in it, but I just wanted to let you know before you took your hand and never started looking around. Okay, hang out with him for real quick. The passenger just released from prison. The driver, he's got an order of protection against him from his wife. Get consent to search the passenger, and during a search, I found a pill bottle that he claims that he's going to urinate in for his brother because his brother apparently is doing drugs and needs a clean urine sample. <clears throat> and then ask for consent to search the vehicle and the driver for whatever reason wants to tell me that this is his wife's stuff and he wanted out of anything in here to point this out. I guess that would be why. Whoa. That's a pair of scissors I broke. The scissors that are made into what looks like throwing knives? No, I was trying to fix them up. I broke them and I can't get them to like. Like you put it on there, it won't turn. But I'm trying to get it to where it appears. Okay. In Greene County, the two guys who got out of that car, remember, one of them had just been released from prison. Turns out that was the passenger, not the driver who had just been released, but it was the driver who was issued a summons for having a revoked license. We think the bag was probably returned to its rightful owner.